Have you ever wondered why people have such weird fingers or hands or, you know, why they look very alien-esque? Probably not, because who, who would? Today, we're talking about hypermobility. Such a strange topic, such a weird demeanor to bring to the channel, but this topic actually has fascinated me for a long time, and the other day I was doing research upon my own hands. So what is hypermobility? Other than a mouthful? It's just being double jointed. I know, a lot of you are probably thinking like, uh, <laughs> end video here, enough said. But there's actually a lot that goes into it. And you want to stay for the kitty. Story time. Over the past many, many years, I've had a lot of people in and out of school tell me that I was double jointed. I didn't believe them. Why would I? knowing it was just how I moved and how my alien hands would work. I mean, I was born with it after all. Why would I allow somebody else to tell me how to live my life? So whereas my fingers don't do this, they actually do do this. And I can kind of quite a bit of training to actually have that happen. So do you see why I would mentally call pretty much everyone a liar? That's just how my hand is, okay? So I started researching more into this contortionist way of survival. Honestly, I just thought that my my lanky, lanky type nature just allowed me to be super flexible. End story time. So this really, really awkward thing that makes, you know, at least my life more interesting also goes by a few other names. Hypermobility, joint mobility, double jointed, and a few other names. So here are some hypermobility syndrome facts. This site says that it only affects about 10 to 15% of the population. Just because you are hyperflexible in one aspect of your body does not mean that you're going to be hyperflexible in every part of your body. I just want to say that. The joint mobility syndrome is a condition that features joints that easily move beyond the normal range, much like we had already stated. This is an inherited thing, just like I said that my mom has the same thumbs that I do. Being hypermobile can perhaps cause pain in the knees, fingers, hips, and elbows for certain people. For me, it does not. Now, along the same topic, I'm not sure why a lot of this says that it is a syndrome because it is not necessarily bad. But what is this exactly? According to this site, the joint hypermobility syndrome is a condition that features joints that easily move beyond the normal range expected for the particular joint. The joint hypermobility syndrome is considered a benign condition. Therefore, there's really nothing to be concerned about. Not all the tests online are 100% accurate either. A lot of the tests will say that if you score like one point in every little aspect of your body, you're double jointed. But pushing that aside, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning actually have this really entertaining video to see if they are double jointed. It's time for, we gonna appoint the king of the double joint. Okay, we're gonna be using something called the Baton score. Yes, there is a score. Sounds like something your grandfather would have done while fishing. And I will place that in the description box below. What exactly does this mean? Well, it just means that your, your overall joints stretch further than normal the normal person, than an actual human being, thus making us aliens. So back to that uh, picture from earlier, the majority of people who are double jointed can actually do this weird alienistic technique with their fingers. It's still gross, but still so, so awesome. And there were a few tests that I kind of underwent at home to see if I could fall in line with their stipulations of being double jointed. For your entertainment. Now this will happen in three, two, number one, by seeing if your thumb fits behind your palm. Number two, is simply just by bending your thumb down past your wrist. Apparently the majority of people can't do this. I didn't know that because I could. Test number three is simply just bending your pinky backwards. Number four 
is if you can bend your fingers about 90 degrees back from the palm of your hand. And the last remaining tests happen to do with your knees, your elbows, and whatever other joints are in the human body. So why is this very, very fascinating for me? Well, because it's a genetic mutation, just like blue eyes. This just also goes to show that I'm a freak and I love it. By the way, I do want to reiterate that by saying genetic, it is hereditary. So along with having this genetic, contortionist, awkward movement thing happen in our bodies, there are a few downfalls with being this way. For starters, one of the biggest defeats that I've ever had with this is when I am drawing. While I am doodling, per se, my thumb will actually get stuck into this position and I will have to like, pretty much like pop it out. It's kind of like, you know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Just kidding, it's nothing like that. Very, very quite far off actually. There's no, no level up skills here. There's no extra party packs or anything. No skip ahead 10 levels with a golden PP7 in your arsenal. But yeah, I found this topic very, very interesting the other day when I was researching because honestly, I wanted to know why, why my, my thumbs did this. And it pretty much just told me that I was double jointed. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it was just a weird, random, awkward topic to talk about with you guys and incorporate a little bit more of myself into these videos for you guys. So if you liked what you saw, then definitely smash that thumbs up button for me or the button itself will explode into many, many pieces. Go ahead and save its life by, by clicking it. The more clicks, the more life it gains. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am trying to put out more content for you guys. If you guys have any interesting topics, put those in the comment section. I love to talk to you guys. You guys always incorporate like a two cents that's very useful for everything that I talk about and I appreciate it. Haters, get out. We're just here in our own little panda weird random world and I wanna hear from you guys. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh damn, my cat ran away.